that I use for my outside Carolina Reaper planting. Well, <clears throat> I did an experiment this year, and as you can see, the size of the pot. Now, both of the materials in the pots are the same. Both have been um, fertilized the same. This is, as you can see, it's gotten kind of thin now, this time of year. This is the one Carolina Reaper in the pot that I have up on my deck. And then I did an experiment this year. I had some leftover drain pipe from a project that we used to put, uh, you know, drains under my driveway. So I did raised beds. The one here on the left is the Carolina Reaper. Bought from the same company. Everything was the same, including the fertilization. Um, they both produced about the same amount of peppers and the same size peppers. Uh, but because this one's going to last longer, I would say it's going to produce more peppers. I have two others there. These are uh, the red scorpions. As you can see, they're about five feet high. <laughs> and they produced extremely well. But now to go back to that other one up on the deck... As you can see, this one's kind of thinned out. It's dropping leaves rather quickly now, which the other one is not doing. So if I'd had to say, you know, if I'd had to make a choice, um, I'd say put the Carolina Reapers in a raised bed of some sort in your garden. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, uh, hit that subscribe button and the like button and follow us. Thanks for watching.